Hello, hello. Welcome to another Jinj Mathematician video. So I'm going to go through some IGCSE 0607 mathematics predictions for paper two. Right, it's very important you watch the entire video because I go through some topics of interest. So there are some trends going on with the June 2021 paper I also want to mention as well. And before I get started, yep, not many people have subscribed to my channel. You'll see that uh, just over here. So again, if you want to make the Ginger Mathematician happy, if you want to make me less lonely, then, then please click the subscribe button. Right, let's get started. Okay, so let's go through my predictions for IGCSE 0607 for the extended paper and October, November 2021. I want to start with my topics of interest. And what I really noticed by looking at the June 2021 papers in particular, although I've taken the last 13 papers from this course, is that these two topics have come out uh, to me. So interior, exterior angles. So when you've got something, for example, like a hexagon, and you need to work out the interior angle of it, for example. These kind of questions did come a lot up, not just on the March 2021 paper in India, but also on the June 2021 papers on the 21223. So be aware of that. Even though it looks like it's only come up five in 13 papers, um, those appearances have been much more modern. So keep that in mind. Uh, area volume non-calculator, writing your answers in terms of pi. So using your formula sheet and then writing your answers in terms of pi so no calculator is necessary. And then a few topics that came to mind as well. Speed, distance, time. That came up in a couple of more modern papers. Fractions. So when I say fractions, just simply when you've got a question like two and a quarter divided by, say, three sevenths and then just work your way through to make sure you can do those fundamentals. Angle calculations using alternate angles vertically opposite and interior angles. Make sure you've reviewed that too. And vectors came up on paper two on June 2021 So be aware that some of these paper four topics can occasionally appear on the paper two. Right, let's carry on. So these are topics that I've classed as often. So these come up, as you can see, probably more than 50% of the time. So things to be aware of. And if you've watched on my previous prediction videos, some of these topics will not be a surprise to you. Um, perhaps the order is then slightly different. So algebraic fractions, this comes up fairly often, as you can see. It's slightly less popular, but it's come up on some of the more modern papers as well. So when you take a fraction or two fractions, when you have to combine it using a common denominator, you need to be able to do that. Uh, indices, as I've said here, less common than in previous years, but you still need to know how to do 64 to the power of a third, for example. Probability was a little bit of a surprise uh, compared to my predictions on paper two. So it came up more on paper two than paper four. It does happen. And the two main kinds of questions on probability you'll see are either tree diagram questions, which could be conditional, or relative frequency. And if you do not know this phrase, relative frequency, you need to review that before your October, November exam. Uh, circle theorems, again, this can uh, fluctuate between paper two, paper four. Uh, but just know those main circle theorems so you can apply it in a more straightforward context. Uh, variation, again, slipped down slightly from my previous predictions. So this kind of question, X varies as that kind of question. If you see that phrase, that's exactly what I mean. And logarithms used to be a big firm favourite of the paper two papers, and it's become a slightly less popular over the years. But as you can see, still six in 13 papers. And the most common kind of question is when you've got logs to simplify. So they'll give you a variety of different logs and you have to add them together and put them together in some way. And I'm sure what you've been waiting for, which is the almost certain category. And one thing to be aware of compared to my previous prediction videos I've done over the last couple of years is that they're getting kind of wise to putting the same topic out there. So as you can see, these are not as certain as they have been in a couple of years time. However, there are still some patterns, of course. These two, particularly at the top, you need to know because they come up a lot. Uh, factorizing algebraic expressions. So this could be something along the lines of x squared minus x minus six. And they want you to put this into double brackets. So make sure you can do that kind of question. Um, rearranging formulae are always very standard. This is why I've put it particularly high on my list here. Uh, because it will always say rearrange to make X or Y or Z the subject. So these kind of questions are easy to spot. This is why you should probably focus on these particular topics first. Uh, a new trend that's been continuing 
is trigonometry on a non-calculated basis. So they get you to work with finding an angle or a side, but they've made the question in such a way that you need to know what sine 30 is, cosine 45 is, or tan 45 is, these so-called exact values, which is what we call them. So if you don't know what sine 30 is, then please um, go and review that. That's very important to do. Coordinate geometry has slipped slightly here, but it's again, very, very important. In fact, the perpendicular bisector question here came up on the June 2021 exam, the paper 2-1, and it was five marks worth, so that's a big chunk of your paper two, so make sure you can do that. Uh, equations are always a big staple, um, particularly working with inequalities as well. Um, be aware that on paper 2-2, graphical inequalities are back. So if you're not sure what I mean by graphical inequalities, then if you click the link above, I did a three-part series on inequalities, and this comes under part three. Statistics. So this can come in lots of, lots of different forms. So I've seen a couple of stem and leaf diagram questions. I've seen a pie chart question. I've seen a cumulative frequency diagram question as well. And what I call here these strange mean questions. They give you a set of data, and they say if you add this value, the mean then becomes blah then you have to work out what it is. So that's what I mean by a strange mean question. Again, pretty much up there. And thirds used to be one of my big favorites of paper two. Um, it still comes up, so it's not a case that it disappears you know, entirely. Um, the two main things to focus on though, they've kind of changed the question slightly, are the rationalizing denominators, so that's always been important, and expanding brackets with thirds in as well. Make sure that is your particular focus for the paper two. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. Again, a like is always appreciated, and obviously I'll be moving on to paper four very, very soon. All right, bye-bye for now.